Things you didn't know you can do in Logic Pro. Did you know? If you hate it when you play in the middle of a MIDI chord and no sound comes out, press command comma to open up project settings, go over to MIDI, go over to Chase and select notes and now watch what happens. Sound comes out. Did you know? If you want to insert silence in your song, all you have to do is cycle a section and press Control command z and bam, the silence section will appear the length of the original cycle. Did you know? If you're noodling around and you love what you did, but you forget to hit record, all you have to do is press Shift R and bam, there it is, because Logic is always listening. But one thing annoying is if you're noodling around while you're cycling a section and then you press Shift R, it's going to overlap all of those repeats. To fix that, you can go over to record, select overlapping MIDI recordings, go down to where it says cycle on, and select create take folder. Now watch what happens. Now I press shift R, and bam, it recorded each of the cycles in a separate take folder so I can pick which one I want to keep. Did you know? If you're in the piano roll and press control T to toggle on time handles, now you can draw a box and these icons will appear. Once you have your box, you can adjust your box by pulling it out. When you're happy with your selection, go to this icon and then you can shrink or extend the notes on either side. Did you know? You can convert audio to MIDI by finding an audio track. I'm going to go with this one. Now I'm going to just drag that into a track, double click on it, then I'm going to go over to track, click on this flex icon, turn on flex, select flex pitch. You can see the actual notes here, then we're going to go over to edit and we're going to scroll down to where it says create MIDI track from flex pitch data. And you can see it created MIDI from the audio. Let's listen to it. And did you know? You could have Logic automatically colorize recording takes. To do so, press Option P to open up project settings. Click recording, select this button. And now when I'm recording in Logic, check it out. You can see that each take has a different color. And did you know? You can create an anchor, which is super helpful when you're lining up audio tracks. To do so, double click on the audio track, go to File, and then you can see this little anchor below, and you can move it to where you want to. I'm going to move it right before this phrase. So now when I move this audio, you can see there is an anchor line right where I placed the anchor, and this is not a track head. This is super helpful if I want that phrase to start exactly on measure 37, I can move it over like so. And did you know? You can press Control Option Return to toggle on note repeat. You can choose the rate on how you want the note to repeat. This is on 16th notes, so when I play, I can make it slower to an eighth note. And if you click this modulation wheel, you could adjust the rate with your modulation wheel on your MIDI keyboard. Check it out. And did you know? You can also crop selections with the marquee tool. Let's say I just want everything from measure two to four. I'm gonna make my selection with the marquee tool, like so. And now I'm gonna press command backslash select key, and bam, it cropped the selection for me. And did you know? One of the coolest things that you can do with Drum Machine Designer is you can find a drum groove sample, like this one. And you could take that sample and drag it in over here, and then select Drum Machine Designer, and now it's gonna pick the first 48 transients and place them on a Drum Machine Designer pad. So now you could use those drum parts and create your own drum pattern. Check it out. I hope that helped. Subscribe for more, or you can check out my Logic Pro crash course linked below.